Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright. It's been a terrible year for Dimitri Zandrade. More unfortunate news. And uh, it begs the question, man. How does Andre get out of this this hole where he's pretty much in limbo, wondering if he's going to get a respectable payday to get in the ring again? And the, the zone bags are over. Frank got word that he was going to, only going to be the lone bidder for the Zach Parker fight, and it just doesn't make sense. Going from where Andre's his prior fights to what he's been making seven figures to fight the Liam Williams of the world and then to fight Zach Parker a dangerous contender at, at super middleweight for less than 200k and also have to travel to go along with it just to become interim champion for a fight he may never get against Canelo so even it just doesn't make sense to travel to fight for an interim title for less than 200k to become mandatory for a, a guy He's probably never going to fight. So there's got to be another route, another opportunity out there. Because that's just, that wasn't the move. It was the move in May when the bid was a lot higher because Frank had competition. But Eddie Hearn didn't even bid for this fight. He was the lone bidder and he paid the bare minimum. And, you know, as a result, the fight's not happening. So Andre has to move on. He loses his middleweight title. I think Bob would have paid Andre a little more to fight Janovic, but it wouldn't have been compared to the payday he's been receiving. So there's really there's really one option here for Andre. As super middleweight, he's gonna stay in that weight class. Because He's been with the zone. The zone's not going to re-sign him. I don't see him signing with Bob. I mean, what does what does he have to offer him besides Janovic? <laughs> and he doesn't want to fight Janovic, not for the amount they're going to offer for that fight. So it begs the question: Will PBC save Demetrius Andre's career? That's really his only option from what I see when you look at the landscape at super middleweight because I don't see him going back down the middleweight what's he gonna do there nothing is available at the moment Janet backs fighting in October Golovkin is done for the rest of the year Charlo is probably gonna reschedule that Selecki fight <laughs> So there's really only one option if Andre's going to fight this year, and it's David Benavidez. It really depends on if Team Benavidez want the fight. They do need an opponent. They do need some something more, something with some excitement. They need, they can't, I mean, Benavidez can't fight another Gennady Golovkin leftover and continue to call himself the Mexican monster. So Benavidez needs a tough fight. He needs a big name. He needs a significant fight. Andre needs a significant fight. So, I don't know. It really depends on the Benavides' team. If Andre is willing to take the fight, I'm sure it'll be a lot more than 180 k But will it be as much as what he's been making prior? Maybe not. Maybe a little less. But it's a really, really good fight. And I would say it's close to 50-50. I think it's a very dangerous fight for David Benavidez if this fight was to occur. A tall, lanky southpaw. He's shown vulnerabilities against Anthony Durrell. He's shown vulnerabilities against... What's that guy he fought? Forgot his name. Got Garville. He got knocked down by him. So, I know people are high, high on Benavidez, but there's not really much to be high on. If this is the body of work, taking 11 rounds to stop Ronald Ellis, knocking out middleweight guys at super middleweight, that's not really impressive. So to me, it's a 50-50 fight because 
Andre's experience, his style, Paul style. Benavidez is still relatively inexperienced. You know, he's still still not a finished product. Hasn't fought the the biggest names out there. So to me it's it's practically an even fight. Andre's resume is lacking, but he has a style that's one of the more difficult styles to beat in, in the world of boxing. Benavidez is one of the more dangerous fighters out there. This will be a very significant fight. The only question is, is PVC willing to risk David Benavidez against a 34-year-old undefeated Demetrius Andre? Benavidez says he'll take the fight. He wants to fight, but it's up to his team. It's up to his dad, Samson Lukowitz, and his advisor to, you know, to give the green light. So I don't know, man. I'm not very confident. Reports of Crawford Spence being off, if they can't make that fight with no obstacles in the way, can even can they even make this fight? This is terrible news for Andrade's fans. I mean, I really hope Andrade finds a way out of this hole. Because if he doesn't, then he's not going to get the offers he wants. He's going to have to come back from scratch, maybe build himself up through the rankings and it's not going to be for the purses he's he feels he's entitled to so it could be a possibility Andre may be forced to retire because he's pulling out of the Zach Parker fight was a mistake but if he was hurt he was hurt but if he wasn't you know that's you know it's another bad business decision that he's made but if he was hurt then you can't go through with that fight against Zach Parker less than 100% and now he's forced not to go through with it. I mean, you wouldn't fight Zach Parker for less than 200k either, and having to travel. Just doesn't make sense. So who's out there, man? Who will save Andre's career? Is PBC going to give it a helping hand? I seriously doubt it, but this is really his only option. To fight David Benavidez. The zone's not going to take him back. Aram has nothing for him. I don't know, man. This is it, is it looks like a really, really bad situation. To the point where Andrew may be forced to retire. I hope that doesn't happen. But you look at this landscape. There's nothing here. Besides David Benavides. He needs a fight. He needs an opponent. I don't see Charlo fighting. Jamal Charles on the compound list? Nah, that's his brother. Let me see real quick. Let's see middleweight real quick. Damn, man. This is terrible for Andre. There's nothing here, man. His only option is to sign a deal with PBC. And see if he can get maybe at least one of these fights. A Lara. A Benavidez. That's his only option. The question is, will PBC come and give a helping hand and save the day? Because there's nothing else out there for Android. He only has one option. Sign a deal with PBC for whatever they offer him. And maybe they'll give him a big fight. Whether that's Charlo or Benavidez. I really hope Android gets out of this hole. He's saying to the world to keep calm. He has something brewing. We're all hoping and waiting. And hopefully, we'll get some good news out of Andre this year. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.